Hi, today I'm going to tell you how you can model a linear low-density polyethylene material without doing any experiments, any experimental data, or even any material model calibration. How would you do that? Well, today I'll show you. So the first thing you do here is to um, just open up M calibration, and uh, you can see here that I have experimental data for this linear low-density polyethylene that I'm working with. There are many different experiments here, uniaxial tension at two different strain rates, uniaxial uh, tension cyclically at two different strain rates, and the Poisson's ratio load case. And if we zoom in a little bit to each of these, you see the two monotonic tests are pretty uh, standard. It goes up to a yield stress, and then they're almost flat. The stress, engineering stress, that is, slightly goes down after yield, indicating a yielding kind of response. And then during cyclic loading, we have significant uh, relaxation. This is linear low density polyethylene, after all. It's, it's very viscous in its nature. And we'll see we have both stress relaxation and cyclic behavior as part of the data set that we use for calibration. I already calibrated a good material model from the PolyUMOD library here. If I run once, we'll see that the predictions in this case have an error about 3.3%. It's a pretty good representation of the experimental data. It's a good model to use. So how would you actually use it in your work? Well, you can just open another window of M calibration, and uh, then you select the material model. And the material model you will select is from the PolyUMOD material database. So PolyUMOD and M calibration already comes with this calibrated material model for you to use. You don't need to worry about the parameters. You just select this database material. You say OK, and it pops up here. And then you can. Uh, Examine what it behaves like. I'm going to use a universal tension virtual examination using six different strain rates. And I run this once. We'll see that this is the predictions. It's a pretty strain rate dependent response. And this is the predictions from our quality viscoplastic material model that we can use them for our own finite element simulation. How will we actually use it? Well, we can just export this model using the export feature in M calibration. You see all the different formats that are available here. Abacus, you have ANSYS, LSDYNA, Comsol Multiphysics, MSC Mark, and Radios. So this model can be exported and used in any of those um, solvers. Uh, just export it, read it into your FE solver, and you're good to go. And you will have a nonlinear viscoplastic material model for a generic LDPE material. And um, that's it. If you have any questions, ask them below.